Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming uh, and on today's video we are going to be winning the most sought after car and the rarest car in Forza Horizon 4 being the Ford Capri Forza Edition uh, and we're going to be putting it through its paces a bit seeing if it's worth all the hype that's been built up around it. Now as you can see I'm on 80% completion uh, but I've not actually won it yet uh, so what we're going to do quickly is just do a Forza Thon event. Um, one daily Forza Thon challenge uh, in order to boost it up and win it. Now, this Forza Thon challenge just wanted me to win a uh, sprint race. Very, very simple. Uh, so I used my Aventador Forza Edition uh, because I think it's probably the best car, in my opinion, uh, in the game. For me, I absolutely love it. It's brilliant uh, doing sort of any sort of races, uh, whether it be dirt or road racing or drifting or drag racing or whatever it's absolutely fantastic uh, so very quickly won that one there uh, and then I won the Capri Forza edition from that so very very easy and very very simple um, obviously I'm sure a lot of you guys will end up winning it but with it being the rarest car and the most sought after I want to know if it's actually any good so let's go and jump on into it as you can see we've won it there uh, so we're going to select it out from the cars uh, and take it for a quick spin before actually tuning it up. So here is said car. Uh, it starts off at A class, rear wheel drive, uh, and with it being Forza Edition you get extra skills boosts. Um, and at the start it's nothing too special at A class to be honest. Um, it is quite good actually when it comes to turning, it seems to just want to go straight into a corner. Uh, it's not too shabby if you want to get its tail out either as you can see here. Uh, but all in all at the moment it's nothing too special to be honest as you can see so what we're going to do is we're going to go and tune it up a bit uh, and put it through its paces on a different uh, couple of races so one of them is going to be a sprint race and the other one's going to be a dirt race see if it's you know worth its worth uh, so anyway this is just a skill tree there's nothing too special on there you can't win any big bucks or any other cars uh, so we'll skip past that now as for the engine swaps you can do there is quite a lot uh, actually out there <clears throat> now I went for the 5.2 litre V8 uh, but it starts off obviously with just a 2 litre um, engine swap so they've already swapped it for the Forza edition made it four wheel drive as it is meant to be a little bit of a rally car uh, and twin turbo it up and now you can see it's got just over a thousand brake horsepower so it's a lot better than it was when we obviously unlocked it uh, so now as you can see it's a lot quicker um, and it's much much better uh, so hopefully now it's going to be something a little more special uh, I've got to admit though handling wise it's not the best uh, same goes for braking actually it's not going to stand out from the crowd <clears throat> but with it being the rarest car you know people buying it for 50 million if you look on some of the Forza pages uh, want to find out if it's actually worth that if it's actually worth you buying it obviously not now if you can win it um, but let's have a look and pit it up against some more rally monsters doing a road race sprint event um, as you can see obviously this is with the tune uh, being s2 just over a thousand brake uh, on expert difficulty and I'm assuming that's why some of the other racers get quite violent um, and start bumping into you but anywho uh, now like I said obviously handling wise it's not amazing so it doesn't you know you can't go around the bends as fast as you might want to because it just ends up skidding out which is a bit weird uh, considering it's on those winter tyres uh, and it is now four wheel drive it's sort of acting like a rear wheel drive car in some senses uh, obviously it's quite a light thing uh, which is probably partly towards it um, but all in all it's not too bad uh, so far on the road like I said it is a bit skittish here and there um, so it's not actually my favorite at the minute um, braking like you just saw there had no choice but to rear end them um, because the brakes just aren't up to par uh, but when it sets off its acceleration is pretty good uh, and it will reach its top speed of 226 mile an hour which it's been tuned to fairly quickly uh, I would edit that out but obviously that's one that like I was saying bad points of the car uh, its handling is not the best it is a bit skittish um, as you can see there so it's not the, the easiest to control car um, maybe because it's just got so much power at the minute uh, obviously it's got quite a top heavy engine in it the 5.2 litre V8 uh, so that will decrease the handling a bit it did make it uh, a bit heavier as well um, obviously with it being a Forza Edition car it already comes a bit tuned um, so they've basically put weight reduction on it got rid of a load of stuff added in the roll cage uh, some brakes uh, swapped it with a 2 litre engine 
uh, which obviously is not what it comes out the factory as. Um, so obviously they have already tinkered with it at A-Class when it was rear wheel drive um, with the 2 litre but that was nothing special. And as you can see here it still is a bit skittish uh, as a four wheel drive car which is a bit of a shame really. Uh, but it picks up pretty quick its acceleration and it gets to a top speed very nicely. I think 0 to 60 is about 3 seconds and 0 to 100 is about 6, which isn't too shabby considering it's not at the high end of the S2 class. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to take it on a dirt race. Obviously, this is meant to be a rally monster car. Uh, so we're going to go just below Derwent Water here to the like I said, the Ambleside Scramble, uh, which is probably my favourite dirt race. Uh, there's lots of nice twisty turns in it, uh, and we're going to give it a shot on here. And so already it is a little bit better on the snow, um, which is where it's meant to be, I suppose. But again, it just seems to like drift in a lot. Um, the handling is nothing special, uh, which means that I can't go around the corners at full pelt, unlike you can with other off-road uh, and dirt cars, such as a Ford Escort Cosworth, uh, the RS2000 etc, Subaru Impreza's and Evos, you can go around the corners whilst putting your foot hard to the floor, whereas in this you can't, you've got to keep on tapping the accelerator, uh, otherwise you're just going to go way out. Uh, the competition was getting in my way a bit and he just wanted to mount the other car for some reason, uh, I don't know why but we'll, we'll gloss over that. Uh, but like I said, when it gets on the straights on the dirt it is bloody quick, um, so in that sense it is very good. But I don't think I will be using this very often. Uh, I'm not going to sell it because obviously it's got the rarity value um, and it's quite a cool card to say that you've got. But it, it's not going to stand out from the crowd for me. Um, you know, the good points, like I said, it's, it's really good acceleration if you tune it up and it's top speed. Uh, considering it's not at the higher end of the S2 class, uh, you can make it a pretty solid S1 rally car, uh, which, which I did do after this video, but again, it wouldn't be my preference, uh, mainly due to its you know, sort of average handling uh, and braking, which means that it can't reach its full potential because you've got to brake a lot sooner for corners if you don't want to end up flying into the barriers, um, which is not what you want, especially if you're going to do online racing. Uh, it's not really where you want to be. So overall, you know, it's a decent car, but is it worth its hype? I don't think so. But for me, the car I will always go for when it comes to dirt racing is going to have to be this. So anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more. Uh, obviously next week I will be releasing a nice competition uh, where a few, guys, a few of you guys will win a nice sum of money. So don't forget to put hit the little bell icon um, and get notifications on for when I upload my videos. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Obviously don't forget to go and win that Ford Capri Forza edition. It's been made a lot easier now that you only have to complete 80% of the season. Um, so go for it, tell me what you think about it, do you love it, do you hate it, how have you tuned it, what do you use it for, please do tell me, I'm really interested to know what uses people are putting it to. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this, and all the best guys.